Hey guys, welcome to this video. So in today's video, I am going to be giving you guys a whole bunch of summer bucket list ideas. So if you did not know, I keep my summer bucket list here in my bullet journal. So this is my summer bucket list this year. You don't get to see any of this stuff yet, but um, basically for all my bucket lists, um, like over here I have my spring bucket list, so go watch that video if you haven't already, but uh, I just kind of write summer bucket list or a spring bucket list or winter bucket list at the top, color it, and then write all the stuff that I want to do this summer. So I will be reading out everything that I put for this year. So if you guys didn't know, I did do, I did show you guys what's on my summer bucket list last year, but I did like videos of me completing them. But this year I'm just going to do my usual telling you guys what's on it. And then at the end of the season, telling you guys everything I completed. So some of the stuff is different than last year. So you should definitely watch this video if you watched last year's videos too. So. The first thing on my summer bucket list is probably on everyone's. It was on mine last year and that is to have s'mores and a bonfire. So s'mores are my favorite or just roast marshmallows. You don't like s'mores. Um, I love having fires too. It's just, it's so summer. So the next thing is something I'm super excited for and that is to go berry picking. So I love berry, I mean, I don't love it like I'd rather just like get the berries but you have to pay more so I just like pick them but um it's very yummy I'm hopefully gonna go maybe strawberry picking or raspberry picking or even blueberry picking I don't know we'll see so the next thing is super duper fun because I absolutely love this and that is to go to the farmer's market. So I love going to the farmer's market. It's so much fun. Here where I live, we have one farmer's market. I don't know if there's more than one farmer's markets in some places. I'm not sure, but we have a farmer's market and it's so much fun because there's like all these treats there and there's like some stuff that you only get at the farmer's market. There's like these, um, what are they? They're called like hand pies. And they're like these like little pies and they are the best thing ever and they're so good but then there's also like a whole bunch of handmade stuff everywhere like there's like clothes and like decorations and stuff like that so I'm very excited to do that so the next thing is to go late night swimming so I love to go swimming in the summer and it's so much fun to go at night because then we can like have a sauna but then it's like colder so the sauna will help with that but um, it's super fun to go and swim in the dark. So the next thing is super duper fun. I know I'm saying that about everything but it's true. Everything just keeps getting even more fun. So this is to have a water balloon fight. I love water balloons. Last year we did one water balloon fight and it was specifically for the purpose of having it on my summer bucket list. That's like how I get my parents to like do everything. It's like, mom, can I do this? It's on my bucket list. So um, I'm so excited because I love water balloon fights and it was so much fun. So the next thing is to go paddle boarding. So um, I go to my cottage in the summer and we have paddle boards there and it's so much fun to just like go out on the paddle board like even like just go out in the middle and then like jump in the lake or paddle to an island or anything like that. So the next thing on my bucket list is to go to Whale Rock. So if you guys haven't watched any of my, I think it's it's been in a couple videos. It was in my birthday vlog. I think it's been in a couple summer vlogs. It was definitely in one of my summer bucket list videos last year, but basically on the lake where my cottage is, we have this rock and it looks like a whale and someone painted a face on it and it it's a, called Whale Rock. So it's super fun to go jump off of Whale Rock. It's not very high, but it's still very fun to go there. So the next thing is to go tubing and water skiing. So. It's just so much fun and if I have to explain why, then you definitely have never been before. So you have to try it. So the next thing is to do a slip and slide. So for the past couple years, we have done a slip and slide. Slip and slides are so much fun. Um, we personally, my family, we like to do a slip and slide that goes into the lake. 
so that it like I don't know you just slip and then fall into the lake obviously we use like not like soap that can go in the lake but it's so much fun so the next thing is to do mini golf mini golf is so much fun and I love it because it's kind of like a treat like I only do it like once or twice a year so it's so much fun when we get the chance to go so the next thing is to make more anklets so right now I have three anklets it's kind of a curse whenever I put a fourth on one of them like falls off or whenever I I don't know anyways I've just always have three and I've had like I had them on my ankle for so long I'd love to make new anklets um because I just like wearing them so the next thing is to go on a picnic because picnics are so much fun last year um, I went on a picnic on an island, like we paddle boarded to an island and went on a picnic. It was really fun. So the next thing is to go camping. Now I added this on here because I really want to go camping, but obviously like if there's still so many COVID restrictions, then I won't be able to, but I still want to put it on there just in case. I mean, in case we're allowed, it won't be the end of the world if we can't go but um i put it on there just in case so the next thing is to read a book outside so i really like reading um if you didn't know then you definitely have not been here for a long apparently but um i really like to read outside i mean i don't even know why i'm putting this on my bucket list because i'm 100 percent gonna do it anyways but it's just fun to have so the next thing is to play some tennis so I love tennis. I actually play like on the competitive team where I live, but like we practice and play against people from our town. But then like we only ever like we do this tournament against another town, but for the past two years it's been canceled and we're probably not going again this year because COVID. So um, just practicing and playing with my friends is so much fun. So the next thing is something so so delicious and that is to go to the chip stand i love chip stands even though i don't get like chips or french fries there um i love getting pogos from the chip stand they are so good so this next thing is kind of like the camping situation um and that is to go to a water park so like i mentioned camping situation um if there's still so many restrictions then i won't be able to do that but i want to put water park on there just in case because that was like before covid it was such a treat to go to a water park it was so much fun i love it so much so if we're able to go which i hope we are but we probably won't be but let's cross our fingers the next thing is to go to starbucks so i love well I'm not gonna say I love Starbucks because I only like one drink. It's the Very Very Hibiscus Refresher. It is so good. It's the best thing ever, especially in the summer. I mean, it's called a refresher, so it's it's really good. It basically just tastes like juice. Uh, it's like a fruity juice, but like it's the only thing I like. So the next thing is Sea Dew Rides. So at my cottage, we have a Sea Dew. Sea Dews are so much fun. It just like go around on the Sea Dew. And this year is the first year. Well, it's the first year I'm allowed to drive and the first year I'm allowed to drive alone. So the next thing is to go to this spot called Lunge Rock and the French River. So where I live, this is specifically where I live. So if you live somewhere else, then you can like personalize this. But basically Lunge Rock is this rock and it's super high and you jump off of it. Um, and it's, it's super, like it's really fun. But it's, it's kind of like the thing for me that like every time I go, it gets more and more scary, which makes no sense. Because like the first time, it took us a little bit to jump in, but then I finally jumped in. And then like you kind of jump in a couple times after that. But then I've only been twice. And the second time I went, it took me longer to jump in than the first time. Anyways, it's, it's really fun, um, but kind of scary. <laughs> Even though nothing's going to happen, you just fall in the water. Uh, it's still like scared to jump off for the first time and then the french river is just this river that you like boat down and like at the end there's like a 
food spot you can go like get ice cream or lemonade or stuff so it's really fun to go down there so the next thing is to go driving so if you didn't know i'm 16 i think i mentioned that already a couple times but where i live i know it's different in like every country or in every state in the u.s but i live in ontario canada and here basically when you're 16 you get to take your driver's test and that allows you to practice driving and to drive with another adult in the car and hopefully in the summer i'll also be able to start like my driving lessons with like a teacher person so that's on my bucket list so another super fun thing is to celebrate canada day so like i mentioned i live in canada i love canada so uh, it'll be really fun to celebrate Canada Day. I did a Canada Day vlog last year. Hopefully I'll do one again this year, but last year was so much fun. So the next thing is to get my scuba diving license. So this is actually on my vision board. It's on like my life bucket list that's in my bullet journal. But I want to try to do it this summer maybe because um, I want to do like, like kind of like classes before I can get like licensed as a scuba diver. So um, that would be super fun to be able to do this summer. So the next thing is to have a slumber party. So I don't know if this is going to be like with my cousins or with my friends. It would be super fun to have it with my friends because COVID, I haven't seen them in a long time. So um, that would just be super fun. I want it to be like a really fun slumber party, you know, like movies, like sleeping, like comfy sleeping, like in front of the TV. I don't know, we'll see. So, there are only two things left. The first, the first last thing, the second last thing is to watch the sunrise. So, uh, I, 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 I always watch the sunrise in the winter because here where I live, um, when I usually have school and I wake up at like 6.30, I walk my dog at like 7 o'clock and then the sun is rising at seven o'clock but in the summer there's like a time change so in the summer the sun rises even earlier which means i'll have to get up early but only one day i just have to do it one day and hopefully it'll be super pretty so the last thing is i can't believe i forgot about this to put on my my summer bucket list last year but it is so much fun and that is to use sparklers so i love sparklers it would be so much fun because I mean, I, we use sparklers sometimes at birthdays, like on a birthday cake, but like in the summer, it's so fun to kind of like just have a night and like take pictures with the sparklers. Anywho, that would be super fun. So that is everything that's on my summer bucket list. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this gave you guys some ideas of what to put on your summer bucket list and how to have some so much fun this summer. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm hoping and praying that there aren't very many restrictions, but just let's just keep our fingers crossed. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like these and click the notification bell if you want to get notified so that you don't miss any of those videos. And if you like this video, make sure to click the thumbs up button to let me know that you liked it. And also follow me on Instagram because it would be super fun. I'm, I'm starting to like kind of figure out like what pictures I like to post and like how to get good pictures, um, which is super fun because then you get to see them on Instagram. So go, go follow me. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.